Hello, my name is DC. I'll be giving you match analysis for the match of Queens versus South Carolina. All right, let's head into the first goal of the match, which comes from a set piece. All right, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but let me take it back. You have seen this. Okay, I don't really want to call it space, but this, like this player here, runs into this path. Unimpeded, unmarked. No one is marking him, no one is tracking him. Whoever was tracking him just lost track of his runner. This reminds me of the goal Gabriel scored against Man City, where Carl Walker was the one marking him, but Gabriel managed to run into the box and score a goal, similar to what is happening here. Let me just put it there, yeah. Across, and then he runs, and I do like the I do like how he's ferocious. He runs. He he makes sure that he's going to hit that ball no matter what. Like, unfortunately for him, the keeper saves his attempt, but his teammate rebounds and scores. So all that came from that run from that specific player who headed the ball in. That just shows wow, how why it's very important to track your runners. Because like the fact that he was able to run for that long without anyone marking him was very worrying. Let's let the replay show that again. Look at that. That's a lovely head. And that's a good save by the keeper. But there was nothing he could do. Also questionable. Oh, my bad. Uh, also very questionable how he could be left alone, unmarked in the box. The fact that he is unmarked, he could take a shot at goal. And there's not much they could do. Was very, it's also very worrying. Maybe there's another replay that could show us another angle that we could also talk about i mean i could talk about yeah okay so they are just watching the ball once it hit the post they're just watching this is actually a very good angle all right so let's watch as it hits the post so i think he was supposed to be marking him he was supposed to be marking him, but he just immediately that ball hit the net. I mean, sorry, it hit the post. Everyone just started ball watching. He let his attacker free, his marker free, and that's a, a good tap in. All right, let's head on to the second goal of the match. You know, let me just let this play through. We're even there already. All right, so this is the second goal. He has the ball. Lousy pass, lousy, lousy, lousy pass. Sometimes what teams will do when you're playing out from the back is that they will, they will give you the space. They'll give you the space because what they want to do is they want to get the ball off you. So they'll give you the space, they'll let you play it a bit. But what they'll do is that they'll make sure immediately you make that pass. They'll cut out that passing angle as quick as possible because this player did have the option to pass to either one, one or two, but he decided to make that... He tried to make this pass here, which eventually was intercepted by the, I think it's this player that is here, the one that I've just covered. All right, let's let that play. Let's, let me let that play through again. Yes. He picked the wrong ball, got intercepted. He's, and he takes it. That's a good, that's a good finish. A good turn and shoot. A very good turn and shoot. It also scored off the transition, which means they did lose the ball, meaning not a lot of people behind, but I do feel they could have defended a bit better, especially for this particular individual. The fact he's able to receive the ball in between two players like that. He tries to get a swipe, he fails. That's just a classy finish. That is a cultured finish. Okay, this pass is a really good one. I do, uh, ad I do admire his attempt to at least get something on the ball he does, but unfortunately the ball does not change direction. And yeah, that's a good finish. Let's head on to the last goal of uh, the game. Which is this wonderful set piece. I do feel it's a good free kick the way it enters. But the fact that the goalkeeper is at this particular point. This is where the goal goes in. And, this is where, and look at the position of the goalkeeper. Okay, I'm not a goalkeeper. If you're a goalkeeper, maybe you could comment on the, you know... What happened for the ball to enter, but I don't feel there should be a goal. I mean, I it's a great strike, but I don't. I feel the keeper should have caught this. Cause look at this. 
I do feel the keeper should have had that. It's a good strike, but the goalkeeper should have had that. If you're a goalkeeper and think otherwise, you could comment, you could let me know your thoughts, but I do feel the goalkeeper should have had that. Let's put it back a bit, yeah. Yeah, but this is a good shot, but the goalkeeper should have had that. It's right in the area that he was standing at. And he stood under the... He stood... He, stood, he, he laid down behind the wall for nothing. Alright, that was the last goal of the game. Yeah, pretty... It's a good victory. Maybe the other team could have done some more. Probably had some chances which they couldn't convert. Otherwise, this has been my match analysis for, my match analysis for Queens vs. South Carolina. NCAA College Soccer. I will see you in the next match analysis.